the Flandro Science Center. They are doing a Stranger Things laser light show. Full on Stranger Things with the music from Survive and we are really looking forward to that. They also have, we'll have the music from like the Clash, the 80s music that was put into the movies. So we are going to head on in and check out the Planet Arium here at the Flandro Science Center. Admission is required into the Science Center so we just doubled it up with our tickets to the Laser Light Show. There's a crack in the moon, Vanessa. A crack in the moon. Oh, that's not good. That's no moon. Doesn't it look like the Millennium Falcon? I think just the outside of it looks like the Millennium Falcon. So what would a can of sparkling water weigh on other worlds? So it looks like they just have... Mercury? Yeah. Venus? Ugh, that one's actually kind of heavy. Earth? Okay, well actually this is the heaviest by far, so... <laughs> uh, moon? Yeah, there's nothing there. Mars? A little heavier. Jupiter. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that one is ridiculous. Saturn. Uranus. Neptune. And little Pluto. Oh yeah, like that is incredibly lightweight. I think it's the same as the moon. The moon's a little heavier. So, which one is the heaviest? Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, Jupiter is by far the heaviest sparkling water. LaCroix, making the rounds, everyone loves LaCroix. Insert joke here. All right, let's see what kind of game we're playing here. I love games. Oh. It's upside down. It's upside down. Am I building my own solar, solar system? system? You're building your own solar system. Yeah, I'm it's, not very good at making my own solar you system. You lost Saturn. It's floating <laughs> off into space. It's gone. And Bye -bye. now to the Mineral Museum, right next to the restrooms. There are a ton of minerals down here, and I'm pretty sure they are getting their own museum eventually at our old courthouse here in Tucson. Tucson is known for their mineral shows. So many people come to Tucson just for our minerals alone. They're classing up the place with some elevator music. Smell of gold. I love the smell of it. The taste of it. Gold and butter. Silver and gold. Dang, so there's this whole room of minerals. But. It looks like they've got fossils. Fossils. Dinosaur eggs. Skunk. Cave bear skull. Crab people. Crab people. Condors. Condors are on the verge of extinction. If I made a flock of condors, you wouldn't have anything to say about it. Jurassic Park. See, yeah, growing up, it wasn't so much the minerals that intrigued me, but the fossils. Loved always going to the mineral show. Brachiosaurus with fish. Reptile. Entertainment. Careful, guys, so don't eat the rubber. No! Don't eat the rubber bands. Oh, don't. See if I can make that. It appears I have <laughs> I mean 
It looks like the crooked little dipper, but good job, Vanessa. Thanks. I try. All right, now we're talking, Vanessa. Now we're talking. Poop. Your poop mouth? Poop in your mouth? Oh, that's a beefy. That's a Chipotle number right there. A cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. For the water cycle challenge, it looks like somebody massacred a treble. We've seen this before. Make we're keeping it separated. Let's get some water all the way back over here too. Let's Come make on. this there a There we go. Look at that. Make this a mud. At least we know the connect is good for something. So leaving the uh, environmental parks section and wildlife, which is mostly primarily just giant boards with information on them. But now it looks like we're going right back into a uh, a mineral and gem world She's again. She's no human. She's a Cylon. Is that Trisha Helfer? Cookie? Taraj P. Henson. That's weird. They're just showing off all their jewels. My thing is, is there's a whole floor full of uh, this kind of stuff down in the basement. So you know that thing where uh, bugs are attracted to light? Well, I'm attracted to sparkly things, like that thing. It is quite sparkly. It's glistening. Look at that. Move left to right, it glistens. I've got to get my glow on, Vanessa. All right. Three, two, one, zero. to come to the Flandre Science Center, things are way different. This, this guy. This is what they used for projection in the planetarium itself. Now it's all basically done with a box a quarter of the size of this. But I remember coming in and seeing this guy set up right in the middle to the olden days of technology. No matter how many places you go and how many times I've seen this thing, I always, always have to do it because it's just kind of mesmerizing. Oh, the gravity well. We've got ourselves a penny and a dime. Which one do you think is going to hit down first? Probably the penny. Oh, I'd say the dime. Three, two, one, go. Clever way to get money. <laughs> I won. <laughs> What's the name of this game, anyways? I win. So solar dough in Arizona changes colors based on the sun. For six bucks, you basically just bought dough that's one color because uh, it's always sunny in Arizona. Oh, here it is. I remember when I was a kid, I bought myself a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Was it good? Uh, it was awful, partly because uh, it is it, it, there's no water in it, and it's just crunchy. I've never had it, so maybe we should get one to try it out. They've got whole strawberries. How much are these? Four fifty. You going for it? Might you're, as well. She's going for it. It looks so cute. Inception. <laughs> it's a one finger within a one finger. I get it. Yeah, Look at that. <laughs> Watch out for the moon's gravity. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Gravity would pull you. Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. It's God's thumbnail. Which one is the one for that they landed? The first landing on the moon? Surveyor. And then Apollo 11. There it is. Yep. Okay. Do you want to see where Apollo 13 was? <laughs> they never made it. Yeah, but they made it safely home, so that's good. And that's all that matters. Yes. So Vanessa has decided to go for the uh, vanilla ice cream sandwich. I've never had uh, astronaut ice cream before, so. Basically, it's, I guess you could say it's more like an ice cream cookie. All right, dig in. Yeah, it's got like a, a taste of vanilla in there for sure. 
Yeah. Definitely, like you said, like a cookie. Yeah, it's like a wafer. Let's try it out. It's a cookie, yeah, essentially. It's, a cookie. it's an ice cream sandwich cookie, and it's it's not bad. It's all right. It tastes like an ice cream sandwich in cookie I just form. Want regular ice cream. Throw some water on it. Put it in the freezer. <laughs> You'll be good. The line is getting long. The entrance. We're almost there. We're in the back. Ready for the show. There's four open seats just right. Mm -hmm. Just one. So that was a hell of a thing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I've actually never been to a laser show of any kind at a planetarium. I, so I'm actually kind of happy that was my first one. I've been to a couple and I do enjoy this one because of the music. Um, every time they did play the music from the, the show though, that was my most, the best parts for me personally because I love the music from the show. Like the, the but you got the score essentially yeah. from the show. And so the, although um, they played a lot of like tunes from the 80s and I, a lot of them was like singing along to them because I know them. Yeah, they're fun. The 80s music is definitely, you know, what brings the nostalgia to Stranger Things. So um, the interlacing of Survive score from the Stranger Things series, as well as the 80s rock music that they have, uh, they did a good job of interlacing it. There were some tracks we were kind of wishing for and yeah. opportunities that we could have seen for them to put those specific tracks. More specifically, we were looking, we were hoping that they would do uh, She'll Kill You. It's like one of our favorite tracks from the show, so yeah. I'm sad they didn't do that. However, they did do Kids, which is great, and then they did do the song from the second season where they're trying to like get everything ready so that they can interrogate Will. Uh, but that was good. It was. It was a lot of fun and uh, it was a packed house So that was cool to see everybody come out for Stranger Things and then the laser effects that they use to actually s Basically do what they do in the show with the title cards for each individual chapter um, That definitely was awesome to see on a, a laser display, you know Just like all of the laser shots that were going on on screen too were pretty cool like all the outlines of the Demogorgon and the Mind Flare and, and all that good stuff. And, yeah. yeah. So definitely check it out if you have a chance to see it, if it's playing at your planetarium. If it does show up and you're into Stranger Things, it's a lot of fun. It's so tranquil too, just sitting yeah. there with like the lasers. You kind of look past them and you just kind of absorb it. So yeah, South Park was right. You do go into like this uh, hy hypnotic state. Yeah. So either way, thank you guys for watching our vlog from the Planetarium. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. Instagram All the social networking gin joints here where they are. Kicking the party, feel the party, keep the party going to Patreon. Gets us where we need to go, like the Planetarium. And uh, yeah, so if you get a chance, check it out. Now it's time to say goodbye. This party's over.